gosh. Hello, Kamiri. How are you today? <laughs> I love that emote so much. somebody else <laughs> Sad committee. <laughs> oh, hello. Yes, that is my actual cat. <laughs> she is the face of my channel. Also, oh, by the way, genderless cosplay, thank you so much for the follow back. What should I call you? Also, my cat has a very original name. <laughs> Her name is Kitty. Original, right? <laughs> okay, Kamiri, enjoy your noodle. cats that I occasionally feed like <laughs> mm. I don't know where she is though I think she is I think she's taking a nap in my brother's room do you have any pets What's happening? It's 
the stream still going? A parrot and two turtles. Oh my gosh. How is it like owning a turtle? Like, is it difficult to take care of them? of it. <laughs> my first actual pet is my current cat, but uh, well, we've had a few other animals before in the house. Um, I, I still have ducks in my backyard. <laughs> I have a couple of ducks in my backyard, and um, when I was a kid, there was also a pet rabbit, but it <laughs> unfortunately the, the rabbit didn't survive long. Probably because I was just like a little kid and didn't know much about taking care of pets. Oh, what happened? for me to stream at this hour because everybody is still awake <laughs> oh you want you wanted a pet raccoon I just know somebody who Usual pets too. I think it was my elementary school friend's sister. 
Oh, this music reminds you of something that's playing VR chat. It's just um, it's just a uh, music from Lo Lo-Fi Girl. I just thought it sounds really nice, and I like Lo Lo-Fi music. Sounds quite chill. Okay, so I need to finish Phoenix, right? Oh, hello Tama, welcome. <laughs> hello Tama, welcome. Have you had enough rest today? And fall asleep with this plane in the back, right? It's very um, relaxing. <laughs> Remind me of the story again. Okay, so I think the last time we the last court session we have established that our client, the prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, is um he's not the only like he's not the only suspect. That's pretty much the gist of it. So we're back to investi investigating stuff in order to gather more evidence. Oh, hello, Masokai. Thank, thank you for joining. Hello, hello. How are you today? Hope you guys like Phoenix, right? Um, if you're not familiar with that, it's basically a visual novel. franchise name is Ace Attorney and this is the first game in the entire series we are at the very last chapter so very close to the end <laughs> that's why that's why I desperately need to finish this so I can move on to another game to play Got to say hi, that's okay. You're doing good? Nice. Um, I am doing okay. I'd say not exactly good, just because I've been having headache this past few days. And that's why I haven't been streaming in in almost a week, I think. I also please pray please pray for my internet connection to not disconnect again for some reason it always happened when I'm trying to play Phoenix right <laughs> I don't know why I know, right? <laughs> I'm, do I'm doing a little better today, though. Luckily, I didn't have to take any medicine for the headache. Okay, I need to ask you guys. Is the audio sound okay? Is it too loud? Over my voice? This thing is a little too big of a screen. Let me about the same level. Wait, okay. I need to lower it a bit, I guess. Also, this VR box is too big. <laughs> Let's see. There you go. Oh, hello, Mehmet. Welcome, welcome. How's it going? I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? <laughs> I 
What's up? Not much. Um, I just, I just been having headache this past few days, so I can't stream. I couldn't stream. Oh, but a few good news is that I upgraded my laptop RAM, <laughs> and also I got a cooling pad. So hopefully, hopefully my laptop will be overheating anymore. Okay, I think somebody probably saw something else that they just thought was cool. But I'll keep selling samurai dogs until the truth set. Why are we talking to this guy again? <laughs> So this guy, this guy right here is Phoenix's best friend from like elementary school. He's always popping up in like in several cases for some reason. But this particular one, I think it's because um he's also he he was also friends with Edgeworth, our our client here. This guy. This guy here is our current client. He's pretty much um, Phoenix's rival. Because he's a prosecutor. But it seems like their issues is much more personal. Also, here's Maya. Maybe I have to like introduce every every characters. <laughs> yeah, Edgeworth. This is Maya. Maya is Phoenix's um Phoenix's assistant, basically. <laughs> He's the entire circus. I know, right? <laughs> I, I freaking love that meme. So, Dick Gumshoe. Uh, he's a detective. He occasionally helps us. And the prosecutor as well. This is Edgeworth's dad. He, um, he, yeah, he, he has already passed away, and apparently the current case is connected to his uh, murder case. This is one of the witness, a lot of heart. <laughs> this is Larry. This is Marvin, Marvin Grosberg. He's a fellow pro um, attorney. And this is the victim of the current murder case. What's his name again? Robert Hammond. Okay. Um. Do I have to examine? Finish this place? Like, have I finished investigating this place? Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone is around. Closed because of the murder case. Mehmet, how are you, by the way? Are, are you guys excited for Ayato? <laughs> I mean, like, I just can't wait. I know it's only been like four days. I think it's coming in around four days, but like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait. Oh, okay. It's okay, Mehmet. Thank you for stopping by anyway. <laughs> Where do I have to go? Oh, in the middle of a family gathering? Good luck to you, Mehmet. <laughs> I don't know. You're probably having fun, but uh, I personally don't like family gathering that much. <laughs> because a lot of nosy rel relatives and I don't like it and thank you for the lurk as well hey there pal what's up you look out of sorts wait you didn't go and do something that's going to hurt Mr. Edgeworth's case again what do you mean again whatever have a seat pal I'm here for you if you need anything besides money that is <laughs> no we're not gonna ask for money from a freaking police officer what do you think of me? <laughs> Phoenix has, mo has much more money than him. I bet. 
How is the investigation proceeding? It's not, really. We have another meeting coming up. We are supposed to talk about Mr. Edgeworth's motive. His motive? See, Mr. Edgeworth's father died in the DL6 incident. And the guy who got the lone suspect declared innocent was the victim in this case. Robert Hammond. They're saying that's why Mr. Edgeworth shot him. Yeah, and Edgeworth never talks about his past. I bet they'll drag that out. Get him with it in court tomorrow. Yeah, poor Edgeworth. I gotta admit, it doesn't look good, pal. It doesn't look good. Two sounds like gunshots. don't have much evidence just yet. I have to exclude this because this is just Phoenix's attorney's badge. Hey, what about Gordy? Say, Detective Gumshoe, do you know Gordy? The monster down in Gord Lake? Mm, not personally, no. Well, we're looking for him. <laughs> what are you talking about, little girl? <laughs> are you out of your mind? <laughs> exactly. You got time to go while monster hunting? How about doing a little questioning for me then? <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Gumshoe is having a little bit of a meltdown here. <laughs> I swear, I swear, Detective Gumshoe, this is related to the case. <laughs> Yeah, tell Detective Gumshoe about the deal with Lara. Okay, so we promised this lady here. So, she witnessed the moment of the murder because she was camping at the lake in order to cat to take a picture of the lake monster. <laughs> so, apparently she has like very valuable evidence or case statement. Uh, but in exchange for that, she wants us to find the freaking monster. <laughs> As if we have enough time to do that. I'm pretty sure the the next court session is tomorrow. I see, pal. Sorry for shouting at you. Okay, I, Detective Gumshoe, will aid your search for Gordy. <laughs> Oh my god, what even is this game? I loaned you one of our newest secret weapons for finding evidence. Really? You can, take which, you can take whichever one you like. What are you talking about, Gumshoe? Yeah, give us the goods. Hold on now, everything in due time. First, let me show them to you. These are our best and brightest. Introducing secret weapon number one. Good missile? Gumshoe? Gumshoe, are you out of your mind? Oh, oh it's a dog. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's a canine police dog. Still in training. <laughs> it's a dog. <laughs> and that very cute dog. It looks like a Shiba Inu. <laughs> hey, he's cute. Love a cute dog. I know. <laughs> and this will help us. How? <laughs> Okay, secret weapon number two is just a fishing pole. My my own personal pole. Are we going? Are we going fishing? Detective Gumshoe, we're looking for a monster. Yeah, how are we supposed to catch a whole sea monster with a fishing pole? Never know till you try, pal. <laughs> you both are ridiculous. <laughs> I bet it's not even a monster. It's probably just a piece of log, like drifting. On lake. <laughs> okay, this next one is the last one. No, please, I'm already overwhelmed by our choices. Okay, now this one is the 
actually a bit useful. A metal detector. You can use that. Yeah. Now oh, this one is useful. Wait, hold on, Phoenix. Who knows? We might find something like a piece of metal that is related to the case. New evidence around the lake. <laughs> We're looking for something alive. Right! How are we supposed to find it with a metal detector? Hey, you never know, you might have been eating soda cans. Well, which will it be? I can't make up my mind, Nick. They all seem so perfect. I can't make up my mind either. <laughs> for the totally opposite reason. Oh well, I suppose it can hurt to borrow one of them. Which one should I pick? I mean, like, if you ask me, I would just borrow a missile just because it's a dog. <laughs> if we are going to investigate, at least we have a dog. It might find some. It might find something useful. And if it doesn't, we have an emotional support <laughs> from a cute dog. How about the fishing pole and metal detector. Let's try, I want to try getting missile. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, can we borrow missile? Sure thing, pal. Be good to him. <laughs> He's so cute. He is. A very good boy. <laughs> Look at him. Can we borrow all three of them? <laughs> the canine unit in training. Very cute with shiny eyes. Okay, so we have to go back to the lake, right? Or maybe there's some other evidence that I can show Mr. Gumshoe. <laughs> hey, Nick. Missile's been act acting strangely. Missile- oh, oh right. <laughs> that little- Feature of yours. What's up, Phoenix? Are you not a dog person? Hey, I love little doggies. <laughs> not a very good boy now, huh? <laughs> what happened to him? I think this dog has a very. Uh, Useful skill of sniffing sussy person. <laughs> yeah, what's wrong, missile? Why is it so agitated suddenly? No, 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 no. <laughs> Where is it going? Is it eating all the hot dog? <laughs> No, I'm so sorry, but <laughs> I'm so sorry, Larry. <laughs> the dog ate all of his hot dogs. <laughs> he ate every single one. Sorry, Larry. Sorry, don't pay my bills, Nick. Okay, it's gonna have. It's gonna have to this time. Can we still bring it? We can still bring the dog, right? bring the dog to the lake. Doesn't seem to be very useful. <laughs> Can I show you the dog? Oh no, I need to show it. Hey, Lara. Oh, cute. He yours? He's a canine police dog. His name is Missile. Ah. Huh. Canines are the ones they use to sniff for things, right? I wonder what Gordy smells like. Hmm. I hadn't thought about that. So he's not very useful. <laughs> that's, that's what she's trying to tell us. <laughs> I 
think we picked the wrong uh, secret weapon. We go back. Can we go back to the police office then? Have to return your secret weapon. Also, here's the bill for the hot dogs that the dogs has been eating. <laughs> to return your secret weapons. <laughs> Detective Gumshoe, can we borrow one of the other things? Yeah, sure, pal. But I have to take back the last one I lent you. Department policy. I'll take your pick. Which will it be? Alright, I guess I'll get the metal detector. Who knows? Who knows? It could be useful. Can we borrow? Can we borrow that? I'm sure thing. I'm not sure what we're going to find with this. Remember, you're hunting for a monster. Anything is possible. Anything. I mean, we could find like maybe some shrapnel. It's less like laggy you now. It's not as choppy, right? <laughs> I guess there's a difference for me upgrading my laptop's RAM. Uh, Oops. There she is. There she is. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> there's not much lag now. I hope I can stream Genshin a bit, a bit smoother too. Hey Lada, look at this. It's a metal detector. I know what it is. Um, I'm not sure that's going to pick up board either. Unless it's been eating people's watches or spare change or something. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Wait. No, are you sure? Can we use the metal detector for something else? If having more RAM helps with the programs, yeah. I mean, um, so side note: previously, I only have like four gigabytes of RAM <laughs> because I'm streaming from my laptop, and it's not even a gaming laptop, so um, it's very limited. But I tried. And recently I got my pay paycheck, so I may as well upgrade the RAM. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, have you guys um, had your dinner? Or breakfast? Or maybe lunch? <laughs> have to go back to the police department again. Okay, okay, we're here to return your secret weapons. Okay, we get the fishing pole. <laughs> you just ate trunch? <laughs> you didn't eat your lunch today? What did you have, Tama? Honestly, my dinner right now is just like some two pieces of bread with some chocolate sprinkle. <laughs> But for lunch, um, I cook some chicken teriyaki. Oh, make McDonald's? Nice! McDonald's make the best um, french fries in my opinion. Compared to other like fast food chains. 
Although I don't know about the about um, McDonald's in Jakarta, but where I live, suddenly they don't serve the large um, the large size French fries anymore. Just the medium one, and like eating a medium size McDonald's French fries is not that satisfying in my opinion. <laughs> Unless you eat it with chickens. Okay, we have the fishing pole. If, if it breaks, be sure to dispose of it properly, okay? Um, right. Yeah, probably. Maybe it is important from the USA. I'm not sure to be honest, but it it feels good. I don't know if it's the um if it's the potato itself or if it's because because of the technique of them frying the fries. Yeah. Um, I've watched that on like some YouTubers from Japan that the french fries there is a lot smaller. But we, um, here in, in Indonesia, we do have like a large french fry size for McDonald's. It's just that for some, re for some reason, the McDonald's chain in my city doesn't serve the large size anymore. Also, McDonald's here is pretty pricey. <laughs> it's rather expensive. I mean, like, it is still fast food, but the price is not as... The price is not as cheap as, like, other fast food type meals. Rice dip in the ice cream, good. You like that, Tama? I think I tried eating eating it like that before, but for me the taste just seemed just it's just weird. <laughs> Do I watch Food Wars on YouTube? Um, no, actually. So I've watched this um, Japanese YouTuber. I think they're like a couple of a. Uh, an American and a Japanese, and they're married. They they live in Japan, and they compare like the sizes of the food between uh, the food in the fast food in America and Japan. Oh, that's an anime, right? Food Wars. Okay, we picked the right secret weapon. <laughs> I just did the fishing pole. Okay, Nick, they look, this looks like a good spot. Good spot for what? For fishing, obviously. <laughs> We're going to fish that freaking monster. Oh. Oh, is it like a YouTube show? I believe there is an anime called Food Wars, right? Or did I mistake it for something else? <laughs> Ah, it's a show about showing different re um, different food, different food chains. Okay, so what are you going to use for bait? Yeah, oh, <laughs> Maya, come on! I figured something like this would happen. We should have brought missile along with us too. At least then we'd have a bait.
I swear to god, what? I don't know what happened. I know this is just a coincidence, but every time I try to stream Phoenix Wright, something is up with my internet connection. <laughs> Am I still online? Someone, please. Still online, right? <laughs> Hello, Tama. I'm glad I'm still online. <laughs> Oh, I was right. Yeah, I think that there is an anime called Food Wars. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Some jokes are better left untold. Yeah, do not joke about using a dog to bait a monster, please, Phoenix. This is serious business here. <laughs> We do not condone any animal cruelty here, Phoenix, right? <laughs> Oopsie! <she. laughs> I got hit! <laughs> meow! <laughs> Thank you, Tama. I got your meow. <laughs> Looks like I am still online after all. Okay, watch this thing. Just try not to reel in any empty cans or boots, okay? Here we go. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Hey, what are you doing? Sorry, Lada. Oh no, do we have to like replace? <laughs> do we have to? Do we have to repay her again for all of that? Camera film? <laughs> Don't tell me y'all are on some film company's payroll. Nick pay her. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Wait, what do we do then? We have to show the efficient pole to her. What a way for catching Wordy. Efficient pole? Are you out of your dog of mind? Yes, I mean, yes, it's a fishing pole. Huh. Never thought of that. Good luck. Thanks. I don't believe it. <laughs> Wait, what are we doing here? We have to examine the lake. Can't do anything. Okay, a lot of camera is standing out at the lake as usual. Even a novice like me can tell the camera must cost a pretty penny. I hope she doesn't leave it out here to get stolen. If she's camping here, I don't think we'll get stolen anyway. Okay, what do we do? It's neither the fishing pole, nor the dog, nor the metal detector. I still think that we have to take that metal detector, but use it somewhere else. We have to go back again. <laughs> We've been going back and forth to the police department three times now. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna pick the metal detector. Oh wait, maybe I have to... Oh no, maybe I need to borrow the dog again. Let's see. my cat
need to like make sure not my cat doesn't drink from my glass. <laughs> Cats are so weird. Like I have her drinking bowl right, like right beneath my table. But nah, she wants to drink from my glass. <laughs> these things like everywhere no i only have the dog Let's see um where probably not here because that dog is only eating the hot dogs <laughs> the, this guy is selling hot dogs and now it's all gone because of the puppy Just nobody's here. Yeah, it doesn't look like anyone's around. Okay, maybe the dog is not that, is not that useful. <laughs> Can we still bring him along? Just because he's very cute. It's still the dog. <laughs> that dog is so cute. I feel like it could be like a meme material. No, the dog is gone. <laughs> Thing is useful. This is the most useful secret weapons. <laughs> We're gonna find some shrapnels probably around here. Yeah, it's reacting. It's reacting to something. It's beeping. The metal detectors found something. Sure is loud enough about it. Whatever it is, it must be in those bushes. Go check it out, Maya. Why do I have to check it out? Because you're my assistant. <laughs> oh, what did she find? Look! Huh? Air tank? The valve looks broken. I thought it was Gordy. My, first of all, why would Gordy be in the bushes? And second of all, why would a metal detector react to a sea monster? <laughs> Maybe the monster is made out of metal. There's something wrapped around the this air tank. It's just it's a bunch of tiny flags. It looks like it's from the other location. Well, we might as well take it with us now that we found it. <laughs> it's heavy. <laughs> hey, does it have any value? Check. An empty air tank. The valve is open and a banner of flags is wrapped around it. Yeah, I think it's from the shop area. Does Larry know this? Maybe Larry knows this. What? An air tank? What about it? Larry, I wanted to ask you about this tank. You've seen it before. Is it yours? Um. Well, is it yours? Say, is this air tank yours? Why would I have a thing like that? 
See how there's a string of flags around the tank valve? It's just like the string of flags around your seal samurai there. <laughs> Why is the music suddenly like this? Is this some gacha, gacha moment? <laughs> a coincidence. There are strings of flags everywhere these days, that's not true. <laughs> like elementary schools and used car dealerships. But why would I need a tank anyway? Yeah, to inflate something. Look at that giant thing behind you. You used this to inflate that, didn't you? Inflate what? What else? That big puffy seal samurai. Come on, Larry. Now, why would you go asking me a question like that? Looks like I hit the nail on the head. <laughs> okay, okay. Come on, just peel it out. Why is he being so secretive about it? See, the compressor I always used was on the fritz, so I tried using the tank to inflate it just once, and um, it didn't go so well. <laughs> I suspected. We can ask more. Game, if you're giving me like an option to ask more, I am going to ask more. <laughs> Did it go so well? Uh, yeah. You think you could be a little more specific? Come on. Look, it's embarrassing, so I really don't want to talk about it. Tell us. Tell us. Fine. Whatever. It's like what I said. The compressor was busted. So I took the tang and tried to fill the samurai up with that. And then... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the valve busted open and made this incredible noise. And that tank there took off like a rocket. And it took my poor deflated seal samurai with it. But what? Off into court lake? Sure scared me out of my court, that's for sure. Larry, it's time for you to be honest. Are you bored? Are you boredy? <laughs> that if Like maybe somebody mistook like a person drifting in the middle of the lake or something. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so the tank and the seal somebody you were trying to fill up flew away. What happened next? Well, all that happened on the 20th or so. 20th, a week ago. Now, well, as far as I could see, then the tank went flying out into the lake. So I went out every night in a boat looking for it. I mean, Yonsei gave me that seal samurai after all. But when did you find it? It's the night before last. It flew away at, out there. It took me four whole, four whole days to find it. Ah, the night before last was the night of the murder. Sorry for not telling you, Nick. Actually, I was here on the night of the murder. You see, I went home before midnight. So you didn't know about what happened? No. Too bad. It's not all bad. We have still one mystery at least. <laughs> yeah. Bordy is Steel Samurai. <laughs> it's the Steel Samurai doll. We should go tell her. <laughs> so funny. Okay. Well, Mr. Lawyer, I got the info you all need. Y'all got the scoop on Bordy for me yet? Gordy doesn't exist. <laughs> oh, Lada. There is no such thing as Gordy. What? How can y'all be so sure? Really, Nick? Y'all got some proof Gordy doesn't exist? The proof that Gordy doesn't exist is out there somewhere. He's here. Of course I have proof. No lawyer with his badge would make a claim without the proof to back it up. Here's the proof that Gordy doesn't exist. It's this one, right? Take that! <laughs> this air tag here. Larry's air tag? What are y'all doing with an air tag? 
this is Gordy. Leave this is Gordy. <laughs> There's a stand near here, a hot dog stand. There's a giant inflatable samurai doll there. About a week ago, an idiot who happens to be a friend of mine tried to fill it. He used his air tank and when the valve blew, the tank blew into the lake. Apparently it made a pretty, pretty loud bang when it blew. Yeah, <laughs> loud bang. The tank along with the still deflated samurai fell into the lake. At the same time, somebody took a picture of it. <laughs> a couple was taking a photograph of the lake. This photo. It's not Gordy, it's still Samurai. <laughs> so you're saying that Gordy is really the steel Samurai? Yeah, it makes sense. Oh no. I mean, come on, Lada. That's a fine way to ruin a girl's dream. I'm sorry, Lada. No, it's okay, you win. I'll give you your info, like I promised. <laughs> Poor Lada. Okay, so tell us this information you have. A promise is a promise, I guess. I overheard the cops around here saying something about the witness to her. They said he's the caretaker of the bold rental place up the path here. Bold rental? There's someone there? I mean, it looks so deserted. De deserted? Deserted? There's an old guy living all by himself. Y'all should go check it out. Thanks, Lada. We will. Get cracking, Nick. Hold on. Wait, something else? Yeah, the night of the murder. My camera clicked twice, you know? Yeah, we've mentioned this before, right? Mentioned this in the courtroom. Wait, so you have another photo? Well, yeah, but there's nothing in it at all. Just the lake. I figure it wouldn't be much as evidence, so I kept it to myself. Well, it might not be helpful at all, but here, take it. What do you mean? This is a valuable evidence. Let me see. Okay, it just shows an empty lake taken automatically on 11.50 p.m. So, five minutes before midnight. Wait. For 10 minutes, 10 minutes before midnight. Yeah. Bye now, y'all take care. Time for me to pack up and leave. Aww. <laughs> Poor Lotta. It's all Larry's fault. <laughs> it's all his fault. It's all back to Larry. <laughs> the legend still lives on, I guess. The legend? Yeah, the legend of Larry, familiar to all who know him for any length of time. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> Can't believe he said that about his own best friend. <laughs> but I guess fair, because Larry is such a troublemaker. Someone should whip that butts into shape. Okay, um... This is the last thing that I need. Oh, right, I need to go to the boathouse. The boat rental shop. Hey, Nick. This is the boat shop that Lotta was talking about. You're right, we were just here. <laughs> what are you talking about, Maya? We were just here. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be anyone around at all. Well, let's go check it out anyway. It's kind of weird that they like haven't gone to the boat rental and just like knock the doors <laughs> until somebody answers. Small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around. They're probably closed because of the murder. Wait, what are we doing here then? Some boats floating at the dock. The murder took place in a boat from this dock. Apparently, the police took away the actual boat that was used that night. He 
Indeed, there's space for one more boat at the dock. Then how do we get inside? How do we get inside this thing? Oh! Oh, there's a new place! Huh! Oh, so they just entered. They finally entered the place. <laughs> okay, caretaker shack. There's a bird there. It's a very colorful bird. Colorful. Meg, is that you? Uh, is that cute with you? Where have you two been? I've been worried sick. Is he talking about? <laughs> I think you handle this. Oh, I think I'll leave this one up to you, Maya. Meg! Yes! Finally made up your mind, have you? My mind? You'll run the pasta shop when I'm gone? What is he talking about? <laughs> glad to hear it, glad to hear it. You make your old man proud. When you kids left the house, I didn't know what to think. How am I supposed to keep this place running, an old man like me? Holly, the kids are home! Hello, hello! <laughs> Does that sound birdy enough? <laughs> it's a bird, the bird just talked. <laughs> A parrot, the one on that perch. He, yes. I leave the wet noodle in your capable hands, Sonny. Hey, what's the wet noodle? Um, based on the available evidence, I say it's the name of his pasta shop. That's a relief, isn't it, Polly? It just says hello, hello again. <laughs> hello, hello. He's... he falls asleep. <laughs> I guess he's relieved. Can we talk, please? Or should I, like, examine the whole place? Well, excuse me. Excuse me. Wow, what an amazing parrot that is. Good morning. Hello? <laughs> he ignored me. Oh! What, you forgot, Meg? You gotta call her name first. Her name? Holly! How you been? Hello, hello! Me? <laughs> Parrot's name is Polly. <laughs> it's an evidence? Why? Bad, all she can say is hello. How do you, how do I read this? Har har har. Oh, Polly can say lots of things. You just need to know the secret words. Secret words? What's that supposed to mean? There are a lot of uh, lots of very various fish in Court Lake, aren't there? Something is funny, Nick. All these fish are saltwater fish. <laughs> so it's not fish that you'd find in the lake. <laughs> Look, a little safe. We're not gonna open like some old man's safe, right? What are we even doing? We're not rubbing this place up. Come on. <laughs> As an electric blanket on his table looks warm. That's a great idea. We should do that at the office. Sit down with our clients, not get warm, and drink hot cocoa. And what? Talk about murders? Oh, you're a party pooper, Nick. It's like a kitchen unit, pretty clean. Funny it doesn't look like the type who would keep things tidy like that. You forget, Nick is running a pasta shop here. Wait, maybe there's something in the garbage can. Uh, it's just a television. Okay. I think it's time we talk to this old man. Uh, 
Um, a pasta shop? I think the wet noodle will live on when I'm gone. My father said it, you know? So that makes you to the third generation. Egg? <laughs> Tomorrow we'll start with the secrets of Do... Do... Tassen. Do Tassen? You too, kid. Oh, <laughs> you'll be the best pasta wrangler the West have ever seen. <laughs> what the hell is pasta wrangler? Is it pasta from Italy? Egg. You know the best pasta's always been made west of the Rockies, don't you? Right, of course, everybody knows that. Nick, how long do we have to keep up all of this? All in the family charade? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't seem to be talking about anything else. Also, like, Italy, isn't that technically from the west too? <laughs> Um, this is a boat rental shop, right? What are you talking about? This here is the palace of pasta, the wet noodle. Though, now that you mention it, we haven't gotten many orders for spaghetti lately. All the kids come up and say, Yo, dude, you wanna ride in one of your boats? That's why I keep them boats out there. Youngsters these days, don't if I understand them. I'm pretty confused myself. Yeah, this isn't going anywhere. This old man is a witness tomorrow, right? We gotta find some way of getting information out of him. Then we should ask about Polly. <laughs> Wake up! Oh, my memory's gotten worse of late. That's why I just tell everything important to old Polly here. Everything important? I wonder. Polly, what's the number to the safe? <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> that is not very safe. <laughs> 1228. Alright. Hey, Polly, watch it, will ya? <laughs> See, Nick? All it takes is a little clever thinking. And a criminal mind. <laughs> Maya, you've been like. You, you almost got arrested once already. Okay, 1228. Don't get me involved in your little heist schemes. Um... Examine? It's locked. But we know! We know the... Wait, okay, what do we do? Do we just have to talk to him? That tricolor of pasta we were talking about already. Rainbow Yoli. <laughs> I figured I figured out the last color we should use. Indigo blue. Indigo blue? That didn't seem to work the way I thought it might. Okay. Um so I do know the the code for the safe now. <laughs> Are we not supposed to open it? We ask the bird again. Polly, what's your name? Polly. <laughs> Cute. Maya has found a new friend. Present something? Be the photo? Huh? 
probably doesn't care. No, listen here, Keith, I'm not gonna try, but yeah, it's the same thing. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> have to flash it our badge <laughs> our attorney badge but not here to you not here to play around is that a lawyer's badge yes it is I don't believe it this old guy is the first person to recognize my badge <laughs> poor Phoenix oh my gosh <laughs> dude dude went years to law school <laughs> Not a lot of people notice him as an attorney. <laughs> I get it. Wait, get what? I got you figured out now. You're not Keith. Um, yeah. Hey, now's our chance to clear things up. Um, sir? No, I'm not Keith. And I'm not Meg either. We are here investigating a murder that took place on this lake the other night. Please help us. Hmm, a lawyer, huh? Please, mister. Alright, I'll help. But on one condition. What's that? When this case is over and done, you'll run the wet noodle. <laughs> we can't promise that. Can we? Um, I guess we'll play along. Okay, we promise. Nick, are you sure about this? Hey, anything to get this case solved? Also, who wouldn't want to eat Phoenix noodles? Ew! <laughs> That's my boy. Good for you, Keith. Wait, I'm not Keith. You too, Meg. Yes? You bring a tear to your old man's eye, you know? Now, what was that you wanted to know? Speak up, Polly! Hello, hello! Okay, now he's talking to the bird again. How do we get him to talk to us? At least, at least he's not asleep. Have to present something else? What about this? Okay, he fell asleep. <laughs> I guess I'll have that one. Maybe this? Yeah, he's asleep again. Probably doesn't care. Wait, 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 what? I showed him this, right? You know something about this? Keith. Yes? It's okay, you can call me dad. Dad, you know something about this? <laughs> the other night out on the lake. Yes, yes? I know all about that. I've seen it. What? Tell us what you saw! Well, I suppose, since you're taking over the shop and all. Ah, damn, this old man. I forget the time, but it was pretty dark outside. Probably night. Hey, it was, it was after midnight, but okay. Then I heard this bang, so I look outside. Then I heard another bang. <laughs> I 
Kenapa lapor Pak Ustad? <laughs> also welcome back, Kemiri. How was your Indomie? A little while later, later, this boat comes back. Then a young man walked by my window here. He was muttering something to himself. What did he say? Uh, yep. I forgot. <laughs> I'll remember tomorrow by court time, promise. Me success is dua murah. Wait, what kind of noodle did you buy? Can you know me? What a coincidence, because this game also just talking about noodles. <laughs> Okay, we need to know earlier than that. Me success? Oh, that's a name? Never heard of that one. Ah! Is it tasty? Is it tasty? Um, compared to Indomie, is it just as good? You know what? Little Terry was just here. Wait, who's Terry? <laughs> That's okay though. I mean, usually, usually I'm streaming horror games, right? And we can talk talk about anything <laughs> oh so Indomie is still this is still the superior one <laughs> that kid next door you always used to make him cry remember he was wearing this tattered old coat got himself some whiskers growing out of his face oh oh he was talking about gumshoe <laughs> comes up and tells me to come down to court tomorrow. Really? Somehow I don't think we're going to get much useful information from this guy. Okay, Maya, maybe we should be leaving. I think you're right. Oh, wait, I had one more question. Huh? Polly, Polly, have we forgotten something? Don't forget DL6! Hello, how is that bird know about the L6? <laughs> how the hell did the bird know about the incident? What did she just say, Nick? One more time, Polly. Don't forget about the L6. The L6 incident? Hey, mister. I, I mean, dad. And he's asleep again. <laughs> Dude. Slap him, Phoenix. Slap him so he'll wake up. <laughs> Who is this old guy? Why would that bird Polly know about DL6? I have to figure out who that old man is. Oh. What? He locked the door from the other side. Who could that old man be? I think I need to do a little more research on this DL6 incident. Maybe we should ask, ask Detective Gumshoe? Oh, we're going back to the police apartment again? <laughs> We've been there three times. Four times. Wait, no, 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 not the woods, come on. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Please, please, please save. Please save. What is happening to the freaking emulator? the fuck that scared the shit out of me okay um i need to save the game <laughs> hey pal not long time to see we were just here <laughs> we were just here gumshoe 
You don't look so happy. What's wrong this time? I actually want to toss you about something. Yeah? I want to ask you about the DL6 thing. Also the caretaker. <laughs> you know the bull rental shop down at the board lake? Oh yeah. The old man who runs it is appearing as a witness in court tomorrow, right? Huh? How did you? That was supposed to be a top secret. Do you know who that old man is, detective? Actually, I don't. He's a bit of an odd, odd bird. I haven't been able to get a straight answer out of him. I decided first that he wasn't per persuasive enough to send and testify as a witness. That's why we called Miss Lotta Hart yesterday. As for who he is, we have absolutely no idea. Hmm. Sounds suspicious. That old man is very sus. <laughs> who is he? Was he involved maybe with the DL6 incident? Detective Gumshoe, please help us. We need to know about the DL6 incident. That was when Edgeworth's father died. I can't help but think that it has something to do with this current case. To tell the truth, I don't know much about it either. Mr. Edgeworth forbade us from reading the file. So... I'm afraid I can't show, you, show them to you either, pal. What? However, if you can convince me somehow that the DL6 incident is related to this case... Well, I guess I can consider opening the file up. <laughs> yeah. Um, it is. It is connected. <laughs> because of the freaking bird. Wait, wait, wait. Let's show the bird. <laughs> Let's show him the bird. What's that, a parrot? <laughs> okay, I need to drink. The old man at the boat rental shop's parrot. The parrot knew about the incident. That incident? The DL6 gumshoe. <laughs> the bird knows! Like, what's up with that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that old man must have taught her that word. Yeah, but how would the old man know about the DL6 incident? Wait, what? What if that old man was connected to that case? Like, you think he might be? I get ya. Sounds like you need information on the DL6 incident. Through there is the through there is the station's records room. I'll give you special permission to go in and find what you need. Gosh, Gumshoe is so nice. He's like he's a very nice detective. <laughs> you should you should have picked other job, Gumshoe. He's a pretty terrible cop, but. He is like, he is kind. Also, he's honest. Wow, it's amazingly dusty. <laughs> 10 years of files and 10 years of dust, I guess. Yeah, let's find that stuff. 15 years ago, both. Me and Edgeward were 9 years old. We were almost through with 4th grade when he suddenly transferred because of DL6. Nick, I found out where the file is. Oh, thanks. Just let me know what you want to know about the DL6 incident. I'll go get the right file. Okay, 3 things. Case summary, victim data, and suspect data. Well, first I have to get a handle on the main facts, like a summary. Right. Summary, summary, found it! Here you go! December 28, 2001. That's exactly 15 years ago from the day after tomorrow. 
So, in two days, the case is closed. The incident took place in the elevator of the district court. What? Is this the same district court we were holding the trial now? Well, it looks like it. There was a large earthquake at 2 p.m. on that day. Part of the court building collapsed, and all of the lights went out. Wow, there was some earthquake. So, um, three people stuck in the elevator. At the time, three people were trapped in the elevator. It took five hours for them to be rescued. Five hours. Holy shit, that's a long time. <laughs> I would be freaking out here, to be honest. That would be scary like that in the dark. There was a lack of oxygen in the elevator and the survivors were unconscious. The survivors? One of the three in the elevator had been shot in the heart. That was Mr. Edgeworth's father, wasn't it? Except that his father was shot before his very eyes. So, Miles Edgeworth was one of the other pas passengers in the elevator. Who's the other guy then? Did the other guy shoot? Like, shoot his dad? Do you have data on the victim? Okay, hold on. Gregory Edgeworth, 35, defense attorney. If he were still alive, it'd be 50. Not lost that day's case in court and got in the elevator with his son, Miles. Miles? Miles Edgeworth, of course. So he was on the elevator with his father. Yeah. From the angle of the bullet and other evidence, it could not have been a suicide. Murder weapon, a pistol was found in the elevator. The pistol had been fired two times. The same one as the... Is it the same one? Is this the same pistol, maybe? It just fired three times. Have I heard that before? So just like this current case, what's going on here? Okay, got any data on the suspect in there? That would be the guy that my mom got arrested. Um, this is it. The man arrested as a suspect in DL6 was... Yanni Yogi? He was a clerk in the court, apparently. Oh, this guy! He must have been the third person in the elevator. But then he had to have done it. But he was found innocent, thanks to his defense lawyer, Robert Hammond. Hammond, the victim in our case. Right. The suspect, Mr. Yogi, was oxygen deprived. So much so, he had brain damage. He lost all, mem all memory of being in the elevator. After he was declared innocent, he disappeared. Could Yogi have gone to, I wonder? Maybe closer than we think. Is it the old man? That old man is very sus indeed. <laughs> I guess I know generally what happened in DL6 now. I still don't know what sort of impact the whole thing had on Edgeworth. Nick, are we going to take the whole file? There's too much, we'll never get it out. Y you're right. How about we just take what we think we'll need? Okay, is that it? Is that all the investigation have to do? That's probably all all we'll be able to find here. You know, all that's left is a trial tomorrow. I wonder how Dad will do testifying in court. Yeah, I guess that's it for the investigation. We're moving on to the um, court session next.
<laughs> oh god, is that guy again? <laughs> He's the scariest prosecutor so far. Very well, apparently the prosecution is also ready. Who is the judge here anyway? So fun karma, your opening statement please. Opening statement please! <laughs> Not so fast, judge. I was taking a meaningful pause before speaking. Right, of course. You are wasting our time here, Karma. Big ship. Today's trial will end three minutes from now. Well, don't bet on it. <laughs> You're facing. He might be a newbie, but he has always been lucky. So he's a great lawyer because he can't find like excuses. <laughs> He can pull out excuses right out of his ass. <laughs> what is the meaning of your statement just now? Must you question everything? We'll be over in three minutes. We have no time to waste. You, you were the one who was wasting time with all the silence. God damn. I call my witness, my decisive witness to the stand. That serious butt shop partner. It's this dude. <laughs> he can't even be away. I am. Uh, I'm the proprietor of the restaurant Wet Noodle at Port Lake. And uh, I also rent books. I know the incident you were in the boat rental shop, correct? Uh, yep, I was. This is fine. Wait a second, we still haven't heard who this old guy is. Wait a minute, the witness hasn't said his name yet. Because I did not ask him, so right? I predicted this trial will end in three minutes. Hey, hey, but that's not courtroom etiquette. To know his name. Why are you hiding it? Even though I know who he is already. <laughs> Stop asking trivial questions and cooperate. Yeah, right. Say your name, please. I forgot. I forgot my name. <laughs> well, um, I'm not really sure. What do you mean? My, uh, my memory. Your Honor, the witness doesn't remember anything beyond the last several years. Ergo, he cannot recall his own name. Can't recall, you say? Yes, but the incident in question took place three days ago. He can't testify. What, is that even like a good excuse? So, what, what do other people call him then? It was the night of the 24th, just after midnight. I was in the restaurant where I rent boats, as usual. Then I heard a bang. When I looked out the window, I saw a boat just just floating on the lake. Then I had another shot. Bang. Just about then, the boat comes back to shore and a man walks by my window. I'd like to begin the cross-examination. Wait, wait, what? There's nothing to question in my witness's testimony? You're bull- <laughs> That's bullshit. There, there's a lot of things to ask about that. You don't even know who that man is. It, I mean, it could be someone else and not Miles Edwards. There are only 10 seconds left before our 3 minutes are up. No! No! I have my right here! Shut up, Karma! What are you saying? Of course I've cross-examined the witness! <laughs> what is happening to him? 
What is happening to you? Three minutes just passed. Well then, let's just take our time. May cross-examine the witness. Alright, now shut the fuck up, Fun Karma. Let me have my moment. Okay, in the restaurant, when boats or the bang. Look at the window, there's a boat on the lake, and then another bang. Then the boat comes back, and a man walks by the window. I know Fort Karma, he spent time preparing his witness. I'm not going to find contradictions very easily in this testimony. Oh, it's tough being lawyer. <laughs> yeah, okay, but at least you get paid, right, Phoenix? Just after midnight, you say? Yep, just around then. Are you sure? Are you sure? When I talked to you yesterday, you were rather vague about the time. I'm surprised you seem so sure about it today. <laughs> no, you can't. <laughs> you can't just respond to my statement by falling asleep. I asked him and he remembered. Isn't that right? <laughs> Don't glare at me like that. I remember it clearly. I did. See? Continue. Yeah, but you, Von Karma, you're the one who said that the witness has some memory issues. Like, it's not too far fetched that I have to question his memory. I was in the restaurant where I rent boats. Is there anyone who can verify that? Well, I guess Polly could. That's a bird. <laughs> it's not good enough for court of law. It's so right. Exactly what's not good enough. Uh, your honor, this Polly is a parrot. Parrot? Don't be so hard on the girl, kitty boy. <laughs> Prosecution concedes that we cannot prove the witness was in the shop. Witness, please continue. Then I heard a bang. <laughs> I have to like press every statement. <laughs> okay, where did the bang seem to come from? From the lake, I figure. Are you certain? Yep. Good, continue. When I look out the window, I saw a boat just floating on the lake. Was there someone in the boat? It was pretty far out there, I couldn't see clearly. But I figured there was two men out there, yep. But you couldn't see them. Yep, at the time that is. At the time? Then I had another bang. So you heard two gunshots total. That's what Lara said in her testimony yesterday. Yeah, I guess it matches. Just about then, the boat comes back to shore and a man walks by my window. <gasps> by your window? Yep, by my window. Right outside the window of my little shack. Did you see the man's face? Well, the fog was pretty darn thick, but he was right there in front of me. I saw him. This is a rather important detail. Please add it to your testimony. What? Oh, oh no. What, oh, what's going on now? <laughs> yeah, me too, Phoenix. I have I have a bad feeling about this too. <laughs> Why is he smirking like that? It's, did we just like fall into his trap? That man was the defendant. He was saying, I can't believe he's dead. Are you sure? Uh oh. Dad! <laughs> Dad, certain Keith, he said, I can't believe he's dead as he was walking by, too. Oh no. Witness, are you sure that the person you saw was Miles Edgeworth? 
was him, that Edgeworth boy. Did he pass out? This sounds like the size of evidence to me, and I see no room for doubt. Ugh, what about him? He lured me into cross-examining, so he could set me up for a fall. <laughs> this bitch! Like, I don't like the way things are going here. Everyone in the courtroom is glaring at us. Better act quick or this trial is going to be over. Well, what do I do? <laughs> right, we fell into his trap. <laughs> we fell into his trap. Is that even a decisive evidence enough? Sure, he he said he saw Miles Edgeworth, but I mean, like this, there's, there's a lot of room for doubt. That man is old and also has memory issues. He could be seeing someone else. Not to mention, he's also connected to to a DL6 incident, and he is probably the previous suspect that got cleared. What do we do here? I'm gonna raise objection anyway. Your Honor, we proved in yesterday's court that it could not have been Edgeworth who fired that gun. Mr. Wright, are you referring to that fingerprints from Edgeworth's right hand? And the photograph showing a man firing with his left hand? Exactly, it's still evidence. No, don't shush me. <laughs> I'm right! <clears throat> that is easily explainable. He could have wiped his prints after he fired. You're ignoring the truth of the matter here. Everything in this witness's testimony is true. We don't know that though. But now I'm gonna keep raising objections. Like, if he wipes that freaking gun, why won't he wipe? Like, why won't- why- why would he leave another fingerprint there? This witness claims that Edgeworth said I can't believe he's dead, but his word is all we have. If he were telling a lie... Mr. Ray, in a court of law, the evidence tells all. Apparently, you have yet to realize even this basic fact. If you say this testimony is a lie, show us proof. Ugh. We don't have proof, but we can't like, we can't like trust the testimony. Especially we still don't know his name. Like, do we have evidence? It's no good, there's nothing I can do. Are you sure? To be honest, I don't know what to do anymore. No, please, please don't be like that. This is for Edgeworth. Phoenix? He was your old friend, come on. <laughs> Can you hear me, sis? Please, we need your help. Nick needs you. <laughs> Maya here. Maya is attempting to summon the dead <laughs> in the courtroom. <laughs> oh yeah, side note, Maya here is a uh, spirit medium in training. So, his her body can be possessed by like, spirit of the dead. Well, in this game so far, only her, her dead sister is able to possess her, and her dead sister was um, Phoenix's mentor and boss. <laughs> okay, three minutes was perhaps too high an expectation. However, fifteen minutes isn't bad. This must be a new record. This game artist. <laughs> Oh no, what's happening? My case is crumbling down. <laughs> no! This court sees no reason to further prolong the trial. No! No, Ashworth is innocent. He might be kind of an asshole, but it's not a murderer. Please!
This case is extremely clear. I see no room for misinterpretation of the facts. What? No! <laughs> I can't believe this. Fun Karma has been like leading the entire trial. It's not fair. No, 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 no. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> Did I do something wrong here? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, do I get a game over? Okay, the accused will surrender to the court immediately to be held pending trial at a higher court within a month from today's date. That is all, the court is adjourned. Oh no. Whoa, 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 who was that? <laughs> Me. What is happening now? <laughs> what is happening to this clown trial? <laughs> it's Larry! What are you doing here? Listen, you gotta listen to me. I was... I was there in the park the night of the murder. I wasn't sure about it until yesterday. But today I remembered it. Remembered what? The gunshot. I heard it too! Larry, come on! So last minute, this guy... <laughs> <coughs> what is the meaning of this? The verdict has been decided, I call for adjournment. One moment, Mr. Fon Karma. So you say you heard a gunshot? Yeah, I did, a gunshot that night. I was sitting here in the audience, listening to the testimony. Then I realized something he said was different from what I remember. Anyhow, I can just sit here and let you call Edgy a murder. It's just not right. I'll testify, let me testify. Alright, Larry, but like, not playing around, please? <laughs> well, this is the first time something has happened like this in my court. Not quite sure how to proceed. Judge, you've already given your decision. Trial is over. Nick, this is it. Larry's given us one final chance at this. If only it wasn't Larry, he could make things even worse. <laughs> That's true. Hello, kitty. Hi, kitty. No, don't drink from my glass, please. Okay, don't, don't eat the chocolate, too. Come on, you can't eat chocolate. <laughs> Hello, kitty. I wish that one day I can stream with cam on, but the cam would be on me. That on my cat. <laughs> so you guys can see her in real time. She's usually just like sitting on top of my table, right next to me. Either taking a nap or like grooming herself. <laughs> Okay, it doesn't get any worse. You're right. Okay. Your Honor, if there is another witness, it is our duty to hear him speak. Right here, right now. A waste of time. The verdict cannot be overturned. Yeah, Larry, if only you were like a few seconds earlier. <laughs> okay, allow me to speak my opinion. In awkward proceedings, it is our duty to prevent an inaccurate verdict. In order to make sure no mistake has been made, every witness should be heard. What is this? I withdraw my previous verdict of guilty. Can you do that? <laughs> Are the judges allowed to do that? Oh, well, who am I kidding? This is like, this is Ace Attorney's trial. <laughs> Nothing is off limits here. I order you to call this new witness to testify. Now. All right, Larry is taking the stand. Five minute recess, after that we'll hear this new witness. Court is adjourned.
Okay, we we are saved. <laughs> we are saved by Larry of all people. <laughs> Call the murdered victim in. <laughs> yeah, if on like if only if only Maya is already like a very prestigious medium, maybe she could like let the let the um <laughs> the victim possess her body and say like who killed him <laughs> that was too close sorry to keep you on the edge of your seat like that edgeworth no pun intended <laughs> i've seen worse yeah right you're sweating bullets <laughs> I just wonder what Larry plans to stay in there. Stay in there. Larry was at the lake. Was at the lake at night. Yeah, Larry was there. Larry was at the lake. He said he went looking for the steel samurai balloon that flew into the lake. Oh, right. And he found a balloon in the air tank that night. Yeah. Yeah, he could see something. Hey, Edgeworth? Say something, right? Yeah, a lot of things. Seem out of it. What's wrong? <laughs> it's nothing, Phoenix. It's, it's not like I'm being accused of murder here. <laughs> of course he has a lot on his mind. Um, Mr. Edgeworth, there's been some- there's something I've been meaning to ask you. What's that? Why are your fingerprints on the murder weapon? Oh. Um. When he fell into the lake, I went into a daze. I couldn't understand what had happened. I couldn't think straight. Then I saw the pistol lying on the floor of the boat in front of me. I pick it up without thinking. I didn't have a reason, really. Let's see, that's like a, that's a very careless move for a prosecutor who's like very experienced with murder trials. He should have found, he should have found, should have known better. Yeah, this might be our chance. Our chance. One karma has only ever run perfect trials. Perfect, perfectly prepared witnesses, perfectly complete evidence. That's a secret to his success. This is the first time he's ever had to deal with something unexpected. Has let someone he hasn't even talked to testify before the court. That someone is Larry. What are you getting at? It's likely his testimony will be full of holes, right? That's right, Nick. No 10 minute trial this time. We'll milk this one for all it's worth. <laughs> hey, it was 15 minutes. Everything depends on Larry now. Yeah. Oh my god, Larry, please don't blow this case. <laughs> don't blow up this case, please. Okay, court is now back in session. Witness, please testify to the court about everything that you saw on the night of December 24th. Right, leave it to me. Oh, please, Larry, don't mess this one up. I hate to admit it, but you're our last chance. But Karma didn't even have time to prep his witness. I just hope Edgeworth is right about this being our big break. This is our chance. I mean, Larry is on our side, basically. That night, I was out in a boat on the lake. <clears throat> I was looking for something, and I uh, found it. So I quietly slipped the boat back at back in at the rental shop dock. Then, just as I was thinking about going home, I heard this bang. I looked out over the lake, but I didn't notice the boat. So, after I heard that single gunshot, I went home.
Yeah, that was unusually vague testimony, even for this court. In any matter, Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. What's wrong, Nick? It's Larry, I have no idea what he's going to say if I press him. I'm a little scared. <laughs> well, we've come this far, there's no way to go but forward, Nick. That's true. We do have to press this testimony because it's way too short, I think. Something wrong? There were so many things wrong, I don't know where to begin. Well, okay. First. What time was it? Oh, it was after 11 o'clock. When I went out in the boat. By that time, everyone had gone home for the night. So, I waited until the coast was clear, so to speak. And why were you out on a boat at such a late hour? Yeah, he's looking for something. <laughs> he's looking he's looking for a samurai steel. <laughs> what was it you were looking for? What the witness was searching for is irrelevant. Most likely he was hunting for this gordy. No, it wouldn't surprise me one bit if that was the truth. Okay, irrelevant, fine. Why at least took the boat back in at the mental shop dock? But um, what time was that? Uh, well, let's see. I figured I was out searching for about an hour, so I guess it was around 12 o'clock. So midnight. You're not sure? Hey, don't give me that face. I'm not some sort of human sundial, okay? <laughs> People use watches these days, Larry. Then, just as I was thinking about going home, I heard this thing. Was this last statement like a reference to his case? <laughs> okay, where did the sound come from? Uh, I wasn't too sure about that. I look around, you know? Did you look at the lake? Yeah, I look. I look out over the lake, but I didn't notice the boat. Wait, no boat? Wasn't there a boat on the lake? Well, Mr. Butts... Whoa, whoa, everybody just calm down, okay? I mean, it was real foggy that night. I'm not sure whether there was a boat out there or not. Okay, no problem. That's just the most important part of this game. <laughs> Come on, Larry. Although, yeah, to be fair, I think it was really foggy, so... He couldn't see, it wasn't his fault. <laughs> After I heard that single gunshot, I went home. So, you only heard one bang? Yeah. Huh. Well, Nick... It was a pretty wishy-washy testimony, wasn't it? I guess I should just start working on the con contradictions. Do we have anything? Just the camera. Autopsy report. Yeah, the link photo is at 12.15. It's another second link. Second link photo. But it's at 12.24. And it just shows an empty link. The article over her overhead map. The salt bullet. Oh wait, two sounds like gunshots just after midnight on twenty fifth of December. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, welcome, Marco. Welcome, welcome! How are you? How's it going today? Have you had your dinner yet? Udah makan malam belum? We are playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney tonight. This is the last case of the game, so like I'm... I'm trying to rush this whole thing. <laughs> 
so I can finish it. But like, fingers crossed, my internet won't fuck up like at midnight. <laughs> because somehow it always happens. Wait, you haven't had your dinner yet? Go eat some dinner, Marco. <laughs> I wish I could be more helpful. I wish I could call my sister. I think we have to contradict his last statement. It's not the same thing as like the other witness said. Oh wait, wait, wait! I missed the statement. God damn! All right, let's 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 try this again. <laughs> parents are out of town? Wait, so are you alone at home right now? Well, you can order some food! <laughs> you can order some food from Grab, Grab Food or Go Food. Although, although, <laughs> I mean, technically, I am like, I am eating my dinner right now. <laughs> I have like two pieces of bread with some chocolate sprinkle and um, condensed milk. Oh, it's just you and your brothers. Well, I'm glad that you're not alone at least. But, like, go eat something, Marco. Have, what about lunch? Have you had your lunch yet? <laughs> Going to cook Indomie? Nice. Very classic. <laughs> A classic dinner for someone who doesn't have anything to cook at home. <laughs> Wait a second, Larry. What? You only heard one bang? Are you sure? That's what I said. But Miss Water Heart testified yesterday she heard two bangs. And the old man just now said the same thing. They both heard two gunshots at night. Were you even listening? Were you paying attention at all to what they said? <laughs> no me is like expensive food. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It is kind of... It's kind of pricey. <laughs> you have some Indomie at home right now. Go, like, go cook some Indomie. Then eat it. <laughs> at least you eat something. You know, something's been bothering me. I'm a witness, see? I'm like a customer here. So you gotta treat me nice and stuff, okay? That's not how courtroom works. <laughs> Mr. Butts. What? You only heard one gunshot? Are you sure? Um, well, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure. Not sure? How could you not be sure? Yeah, well, I, uh... I might have missed the other gunshot. I was uh, listening to something else. Something else? Larry, I swear to God, do, do not blow this. <laughs> do you want Azure to be arrested? <laughs> my radio, dude. On my headphones. What? Larry, don't fucking embarrass me in front of a, in front of Fun Karma of all people. <laughs> this is serious business. You were listening to a radio on earphones. Yeah, so what? That's a crime. I listen to my radio. Everybody listens to the radio. What's a big deal? 
It's a fun comment. Your opinion? Waste of time. <laughs> I do not accept this witness nor his shoddy testimony. God, no. Should he continue the testimony? I don't know. <laughs> Should we? Should we let him continue? <laughs> But he was just going to like blabber his mouth. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Does he have like maybe other? <laughs> Stay calm and go to the court. <laughs> Larry is not taking this seriously. I know he means well because he was trying to help Edgeworth as well. But like, come on. <laughs> what do we do here? Can you? Or that's enough? What happened if I pick that's enough? Will he like no longer in the in the witness stand? I think I've heard enough. It's all too embarrassing. In fact, I think we've, we've all heard enough. If you saying, Nick, if you saw now, Mr. Edgeworth will be found guilty. Let's turn this trial around. Uh, do you honor? Please allow the witness to con continue his testimony. <laughs> also, it, it's, it's the same thing either way. Nothing is more pitiful than a lawyer who doesn't know when he's lost. Well, we're not lost because like all of this, all of this case still has like a lot of holes. <laughs> I wouldn't if there were any other way out of this. Believe me. It's lonely being alone on Christmas Eve. That's why I was listening to an all-request show on the radio. See. I was listening to it real booming loud, like, but I'm sure I heard that loud shot. I remember exactly what the DJ was saying when I heard it too. That's it? You were listening to your radio at high volume? Yeah, what's the big problem? Can't a man listen to his radio in peace in this a free country? <laughs> I truly believe Larry has no idea what the problem here is. <laughs> oh, Larry. Larry is such a himbo. <laughs> Can you believe a word this witness says? What he heard was probably nothing more than a drum beat from the radio. True enough, it is difficult to believe this testimony. No, but... I mean, let's... Let, let, let's cross-examine him either way. <laughs> The witness said he remembers exactly what the DJ said when he heard the gunshot. DJ, DJ you know, announcer, the, the guy who says things on the radio. <laughs> anyway, what this means is, when he heard this sound, no music was playing. The DJ only talks between songs, so he could have heard the gunshot from the lake. I like to cross-examine the witness, Your Honor. Okay. <laughs> okay, don't say that, Phoenix. We're like, we don't have an anywhere else to go. Larry is the only lead we have right now. Being alone on Christmas Eve, that's why I was listening to an all request show on radio. Listening to it real booming loud. Okay, exactly what the DJ was saying. This is the most ludicrous testimony I've ever heard, but there is one gleaming ray of hope in there. I gotta press it until we get to the bottom of what happened. Okay. Alright, I gotta press every statement. So, you turn on the radio? Right. I just wanted to hear someone's voice, you know? I don't know what it's like out there. Alone. On Christmas Eve. Alone! <laughs> Shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> oh, Larry. Oh, 
Do I like horror games? Yes! <laughs> I do! I actually play more horror games than like... <laughs> other games. I'm currently finishing Ace Attorney just because this is like the last game so I can move on to another game to play. <laughs> But do you have any suggestions of like what kind of horror games I should play? Feel free to like suggest me any title. Like hopefully I can stream the game with my current setup because this is very limited. Do you by any chance remember the name of the program you are listening to? It has nothing to do with the case. Oh, okay, so irrelevant. Fine. Listening to the radio, that is all we need to know. How loud was your radio set to that night? Listening to it real booming loud. Real booming loud? Yeah, you know. And you had headphones on? Yep. <laughs> your poor eardrums, dude. <laughs> I wouldn't think you could hear anything going on outside at all. I mean, like, it could be worse. He could be wearing, like, a noise cancelling headphones. <laughs> at least it's just the music is loud, but he still hears, like, some other stuff from outside. I'm sure I heard that, I heard that gunshot. Can you prove that? No, 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 of course you can't. No, I can't prove it, but I remember that moment real clear. I mean, while I was talking about it, it came back real clear to me, you know? I remember exactly what the DJ was saying when I heard it too. Okay, what the hell did the DJ say? Mr. Wright, please cease these pointless questions. What possible good could knowing what the radio DJ said to us? Wait, 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 wait. No, we need to know. I think we should care. Should care, of course we should. You could be saying something. Uh, what? Well, how do you know if we don't ask? Okay, testify to the court. What was the radio announcer saying when you heard the gunshot? Just when she said, Hey, it's almost Christmas. I heard the gunshot. Are you sure? Of course I am. She had this real sexy voice. <laughs> That's why he remembered it? <laughs> Von Karma was right. I'm not sure how that helped us at all. This is the most ludicrous testimony. There is one gleaming ray of hope. Wait, do I have to contradict something here? Alright, the gunshot was... He heard the gunshot. Um, almost Christmas. That's what he said, right? The late photo here is from 12.15 a.m. But that means it's already Christmas. The time of that is still like... Question mark? Because it's between 24th and 25th. Uh, what else? Yeah, there is another photo that is taken... Before Christmas. Before the 25th. It's just 10 minutes before Christmas. What do we do here then? <laughs> Is there anything like to contradict here? Oh, kitty! Don't bite my leg! Kitty! Okay, what do you want? Come on, Papa. Come on, kitty. <laughs> Ow, kitty! 
Daddy, no! Kitty, no, I have to finish the, gra the game, please. <laughs> Don't bite my leg. Oh my god, this cat, I swear to god. So this one, I think there's something in this state. Paired up with the, our evidence. Empty lake. Is this it? Oh no, no, it's, it's the wrong one! <laughs> Music doesn't stop. We got the wrong one. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no. What else do we have here? Oh, wait. Two sounds like gunshots just after midnight. But Larry heard it before midnight, right? Oh, hello raiders! Welcome, welcome! Kuntoba, thank you for the raid! Welcome, you guys! So, my name is Caddy. Currently, we are finishing the last chapter, the last case of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. <laughs> yeah. Welcome, welcome, Raiders. Also, thank you for the follow, Sky T W W. <laughs> welcome. I hope you guys enjoy your stay here. We are playing Phoenix, right? This is the NDS, NDS version. I know that Ace Attorney is basically already remastered for Steam, but <laughs> we're playing the NDS here. Also, thank you for the follow, Harlan3779. <laughs> oh, is it Sky Tewewe? <laughs> yeah, welcome you guys. I hope you enjoy your stay here. <laughs> and thank you so much for the raid. What was, um,. What did you stream, Dukuntobat? Oh, I need to shout you out. Oh, oh we'll play Genshin Impact. <laughs> what did you do? Were you attempting? Um, Another Abyss attempt? What did I do? Abyss? Oh my gosh, you have Ganyu. I'm so jealous. I don't have Ganyu. <laughs> oh, just fooling around? <laughs> oh, are you going to pull for Ayato? I'm so excited about the next um, update. I have been saving my Prima gems since um, since Jongli banner, Jongli rerun banner, Jongli and Ganyu. <laughs> Ayato. <laughs> Ayato wong <ang> jowo. <laughs> Uh, saving for Kazoo, huh? I'm waiting for his rerun too. <laughs> I pulled, I tried to pull for Kazuha huh? on his first banner, but I didn't get him. I got Mona instead. <laughs> I think Mona really likes me. Like, for other people, it's usually Chichi or Kaching that ruin their 50 50. 
Not me. It's it's always Bona. <laughs> but I'm not complaining because Bona is pretty good. Okay, so his statement here contradicts with Lotta's deposition because she said that the gunshot is after midnight. <laughs> Good or not, she's kawaii. True. Mona also has like one of the best female design of, of all the characters in my opinion. I, I don't really dig her redesign just because I think her original design is already pretty amazing. <laughs> it fits with her character because she is able to swim. So she's wearing a swimsuit. <laughs> yeah, objection. <laughs> Detention. Oh, there's a game called Detention, right? <laughs> okay, Larry, are you absolutely sure what you're saying is correct? What the hell is Larry doing here? I think Larry is just bullshitting as a bullshitting at this point. <laughs> What's with the face? You look scary, dude. Hey, if you're trying to scare me, you better know I don't scare that easy. Larry, I swear to God, do not lie to the court. <laughs> you wanna get perjury? That's how you get a perjury, Larry. Did you hear what the witness just said? The DJ said, hey, it's almost Christmas, when, it, when he heard the gunshot. Almost Christmas means it wasn't Christmas. Do you realize what this means? <laughs> I've seen, like, I've seen, I've seen this, this going around as a meme. <laughs> Almost Christmas. I've seen it a lot on Twitter, especially during Christmas Eve. <laughs> When he heard the gunshot, it was still Christmas Eve. That would seem to be the case, yes. But that contradicts the two testimonies we have heard so far. Both Miss Hart and the old man said it was after midnight when they heard the shots. In other words, when they heard the gunshot, it was already Christmas. This is a clear contradiction, Your Honor. <laughs> I am kind of confused here because Phoenix is... Phoenix is like roasting his own witness. <laughs> Larry is trying to help him here, but he's like roasting all of his testimonies. <laughs> oh, Larry. What does this mean? The true prior witnesses heard gunshots after midnight. However, this witness says he heard a gunshot before midnight. Judge, the answer is simple. The current witness is plainly mistaken. Just look at him. Suspicious. You are. <laughs> he is suspicious. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you think about Mr. Butt's claim? He heard the gunshot before midnight. I think he's wrong. <laughs> Do you guys want me to like speak in Indonesian? I'm, I don't mind. <laughs> okay, well, I guess it had to, to have been Larry's mistake. <laughs> Very well. Wait, I come up here, I give you a riveting testimony, and you laugh it off as some kind of mistake? What about me? How can you call yourself a friend, Nick? How? Get used to disappointment. <laughs> what the hell is happening? Okay, I guess Larry's right. 
<laughs> okay, Lady is not mistaken, Your Honor. He heard that gunshot before midnight. Intrigue. Intrigue? I'm assuming you have evidence for this wild claim. Show me evidence there was a gunshot before midnight. Oh, 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 oh no, oh no. It's, I think it's this one. Nope, this, this is after. I, I do, I do have a, uh, I do have a proof, I remember it. What was it? This one! Look at this photograph. This was taken by our witness yesterday, Miss Lotta Hart, with her automatic camera. The timestamp in the photo reads December 24, 1150. Yeah, but there's nothing on the leg in this picture. Joanna, the real issue here is not why nothing is shown in this photograph. It is why this photograph exists at all. Yeah, because the camera captures the sound. The camera immediately like turns on, taking pictures of the lake as soon as the noise is heard. Yeah, automatic camera. That camera was set to go off in response to loud noises. So what was the loud noises then? Except a gunshot. <laughs> There's a loud noise at 11.50. This is why this photograph was taken. In other words, when Larry heard that gunshot, it was, a, it was most definitely Christmas Eve. Indeed, it would seem that is the case. Then, what does that leave us? Miss Hart testified that she heard the gunshots after midnight. Are you claiming she was mistaken? Not at all, it is a fact that the camera also triggered at 15 minutes after midnight. Okay, two gunshot, two sets of gunshots with a 25 minute pause between them. So how many? The three gunshots? I mean, that fits with the pistol evidence because it says that it has been fired three times. Don't be fooled, Judge. That camera was set to respond to loud noises. I hate when he's doing that. <laughs> Such a condescending, like, gesture. There's no proof that the loud noise at 11.50 was a gunshot. Why? The witness could have sneezed triggering the camera. Hey, my nose was clear that night, man. Clear. Okay, no turning back. Can you prove that the loud noise at 11.50 was indeed a gunshot? Please show the court evidence if you have any. It's the gun, right? The gun has been fired three times. Or... Am I wrong? <laughs> Okay, okay, Dukutoban. Again, thank you so much for the raid. Have fun with your dinner. <laughs> yeah, I think it is the pistol. The pistol has been fired three times, so... If Larry heard once before before Christmas at Christmas Eve, and um, what is it, Lada? Yeah, Lada heard it too. But heard two sounds after midnight. It's kind of baffling that the entire court has been. Like, the entire court missed this, like, very crucial detail. <laughs> it's been fired three times. 
I mean, I guess Phoenix miss it too. Something about this pistol was bothering me. Both of the witnesses who testified yesterday heard two gunshots. However, the murder weapon was fired three times. When then was the last shot fired? Only now have I realized the truth. That third shot was the shot Larry heard just before midnight. So, like, which shot killed the victim? Also, why is it fired three times? <laughs> Yeah, that would make sense of the evidence we've seen so far. However, this leaves me wondering exactly what did happen that night on the lake. Exactly, if this is true, there were two sets of gunshots separated by 25 minutes. One at 11.50, another at 15 minutes after midnight. Why, I ask you? Why? Uh, we don't know. Don't really know. What is Phoenix getting at here? <laughs> Gunshots separated by 20, 25 minutes. What is he thinking? <laughs> Where am I blanking? <laughs> like blank, what's wrong? What do you have? Remember the case with the Steel Samurai? Oh my god, that was so long ago. <laughs> I don't remember it anymore, to be honest. It's been weeks. <laughs> the murder in this case had the same idea as the murder in that case. Oh, what do you mean? What does it mean? If we don't figure out, figure this out now, we'll never overturn Edgeworth. Edgeworth guilty verdict. <clears throat> that a hunch? I'm going to run with it. It's another self-defense case. Already gotten a guilty verdict, we have nothing to lose. Just watch and let me know if I say anything that sounds fishy, okay? Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm following your lead, Phoenix. The testimony just now has cleared up this entire case. What do you mean, Mr. Wright? <laughs> He's speaking, this isn't good. So, you finally realize the truth. There can be no other murderer here than Miles Edgeworth himself. Uh-uh. <laughs> Wrong. A man was shot that night, but it wasn't Edgeworth who did the shooting. Listen, rookie, take a deep breath and consider the facts. At the time of the murder, one boat was on that lake. This was shown by the witness's photograph. The defendant, Edgeworth, was, and the victim, Robert Hammond, were on that boat. There was a gunshot fired on that boat, and Robert Hammond fell into the lake. The distance of the shooting was one meter. It couldn't have been suicide. Well... Guilty party has to be the other man on that boat. I admit it is hard to imagine any other possibility. But this assumes that the victim was shot at 15 minutes after midnight. Wait, what do you mean by that? We have photographic evidence of the time of the shooting. Time Sam in the photo says... Well, 12.15. But Larry heard a gunshot 25th. 25 minutes before that. Robert Hammond was killed then. 25 minutes before the shot on the lake. Yeah, that's the only way that Edgeworth could be innocent. Mr. Wright, are you quite mad? Explain who this is sitting on the boat. Oh, um... Well... <laughs> Is it the murderer and Hammond? Wait, wait, no. Edward and Hammond. Edward and the murderer. Maybe? It was.
Nicholas Edgeworth and the murder. After the murder killed Robert Hammond at 11.15, he assumed the guise of Mr. Hammond and met Edgeworth. <laughs> huh. Oh. Oh, so when he... <laughs> what he meant by seal samurai is that someone is disguising at someone else. <laughs> okay. Okay, Phoenix. Edward won't tell us why he went to the lake that night. However, I have a hunch. That night, Robert Hammond called Edgeworth to the lake. Now, Edgeworth didn't know Robert Hammond's face that well. That's why he didn't suspect anything when the murder took Robert Hammond's place. <clears throat> okay, I'm not sure what to make of all of this. Mr. Wright, tell us the name of the murderer then. The murderer's name? Right, it's... Uh, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, we don't know. We don't know, right? It's not Lana, it's not Miles. Uh, Edgeworth. Actually, I don't know the murderer's name. You don't know? Again, you waste my, waste my time. No, 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 this is not a waste of time. It's just that we don't know because the murderer never told us. <laughs> the murderer is the caretaker of the boat shop, that old man. At 11.50, he was the one who killed Robert Hammond. Who, the caretaker? How did he do this? <laughs> that old man? He was already like very forgetful. Or maybe that's just his like... Maybe he's like... Fooling everybody. There weren't any boats on the lake then. Why would we have to go all the way out on the lake just to shoot someone? May I suggest that the real scene of this crime was not in a boat? What? Well, where did the murder take place? Show the judge where the murder really took place. Where? Inside his shack, maybe. Here, of course, the pot shop where he lives. That way he could meet with the victim without anyone seeing him. Do you have proof that the pot shop was the scene of the crime? Recall every testimony if you will. That night he was out on the lake in a boat searching for something. Then he returned the boat. He finds it and returns the boat. Then, just as he's starting to head for home, he hears a he hear, he heard a gunshot. Yeah, he heard a gunshot, even though he was wearing headphones at the time. In other words, the gunshot was very, very close by. And where would that be if he had just returned a boat? The boat shop. Oh, that's why. Okay, what happened that night at Court Lake? Please tell the court from the beginning. Yes, Your Honor. Like, are you sure about this? Um, not really, but we're trying something. <laughs> but I think if I start at the very beginning and I take it slow, I might just be able to figure this out. That night, the caretaker of the boat shop called Robert Hammond to his shop. This was around 11.50. That was when the gunshot that Larry heard was fired. After that, the caretaker put on Robert Hammond's coat. He became Robert Hammond. Then he got in the boat with Edgeworth and went out into the middle of the lake. Then who fired the pistol in the boat, Mr. So right? The boat shot, right? The caretaker. Of course, it was the murderer who shot the pistol. Shot twice, both Miss Edgeworth on purpose. Wait a minute. Why would he shoot twice if he didn't mean to hit anyone? Details, details. 
The moment you run out of explanation is the moment you lose. Tell us why the murder had to fire twice. I guess it's be so the gunshot, like the gunshot noise, would be heard by someone else. I guess. I believe he shot twice to create a witness. <laughs> the murderer lifts his pistol and fires one shot that ensures that anyone who heard the shot would look at the lake. Indeed, Miss Hart did exactly that after hearing the first gunshot. Next, the murderer waits a bit and he fires again. Then, The murderer jumps from the boat himself, leaving the pistol in the boat behind him. Oh, that's- and then... Miles Edgeworth grab it. I see. To someone looking from the edge of the lake, it would appear that one of the men on the boat had shot the other. The murderer didn't know about the automatic camera, of course. That's why he shot twice to draw attention to the boat. Once you realize that, everything else falls into place. The boat shop caretaker swam back to his shop. Then, he put Mr. Hammond's sweat coat back on the body and threw the body into the lake. This is what happened, Your Honor. These are the events that transpired that night on Gord Lake. Yeah, I guess it makes sense. I'm kind of doubtful just because, um... He... Like, he proposed the suspect as the old man, and the old man really like swim into a lake, or lift the gun. A gun is like, a gun, is, a gun can be pretty heavy. Not to mention the recoil. But it makes sense, I mean the boat, the boat caretaker is pretty shady. Still hasn't told his name. While we are waiting for the caretaker, I would like to ask the defendant, Miles Edgeworth, a few questions. Mr. Edgeworth, please take the stand. Mr. Edgeworth, you heard what the defense has said? Yes. Well, why did you go to the lake that night? What Wright has said was mostly correct. Astonishingly, astonishingly so, actually. Yes, several days ago I received a letter. The letter was signed Robert Hammond. He asked me to come to the boat shop by the lake at midnight on Christmas Eve. He said he had something very important to discuss with me. Wait, what is this? I'm sorry, I can't say what it was. Your Honor, sir. Bailiff, we are conducting a trial here. I ask that you remain quiet. Oh my god, what is happening? <laughs> the witness has disappeared. <laughs> the witness that is now the prime suspect. Oh my god. Find him quickly, we cannot allow him to get away. Holy hell. Mr. Von Karma, your witness has disappeared. Search warrant has already been issued. It goes without saying that I cannot declare a verdict under these cir circumstances. I will extend the trial until tomorrow, the final day allowed. I request that the police department utilize all its forces to find that witness. Am I understood? One more thing. Just who is that boat shop caretaker? <laughs> yeah, Phil! See, Phoenix has a lot of luck. Just somehow, somehow he overturned that guilty verdict. <laughs> He's really lucky. Also, apparently Larry can be pretty useful. <laughs> we have to thank him too. <laughs> I want him and I want to know who he is. 
Very well. Court is adjourned. <laughs> yeah, upload <plot> armor. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Nick, you did it! Yeah, well, barely. <laughs> At least we got out from that, from under that guilty verdict. What about Larry? That was something else. Even Pak Karma didn't know what to do with his test money. Larry really helped us out. Sure. Once I sifted through his unique testimony, still he did save us. I just wish our cases weren't so down to the wire all the time. I know what you mean. Sometimes I feel like it's us on trial instead of our clients. Hey, Edgeworth. I'm um, Mr. Edgy. <laughs> Did you say something? Don't look so pained. I mean, it looks like you're probably going to get off the hook. Let's try, smile just a little, relax. <laughs> is, he, is he so physically unable to smile? <laughs> Edgeworth, just once. I'm sorry, but I feel it's not over for me yet. What do you mean? <laughs> right, there's something that's been troubling me for a long time now. I don't know whether, whether or not to tell you. Edgeworth? Edgeworth, you can't tell him! He's your lawyer! There's so little time left. I want to tell you to get it off my chest, but... I can't make up my mind. What is this about? Disability? <laughs> Well, at least it's pretty useful for him as a prosecutor. <laughs> it's a nightmare I've had. A memory of a crime that I committed. A crime you committed? Ooh, Tama, you got it right. Maybe this is a confession. <laughs> a confession for something. A memory of a murder. To be continued? Oh my god, this this case is pretty long. Oh my god, do I have to do another investigation? <laughs> Been almost three hours long. What was Mr. Edgeworth talking about? Why the Artemis? Or probably he was talking about um, his dad's murder. But did he commit it? Do you really think Mr. Edgeworth killed? I don't believe it. Not Edgeworth. Some painful memory has been troubling him recently, but he had never taken someone's life. Never. Oh! <laughs> Larry, you scared me. What do you think of my performance today? I had them swooning in the air. The aisle, huh, Maya? Swooning? Me? Oh, yes, I do remember feeling faint. Right on, tell me the truth. It was like love at first sight, right? Larry? Larry, back off. She's underage. <laughs> eh? Well, maybe my heart skipped a bit or two. <laughs> because Phoenix was like on edge the entire time. <laughs> it's like, Larry, please. No more bullshit. <laughs> Don't ruin this case for me. <laughs> he was standing there, clenching his fist, <laughs> full of anxiety. <laughs> I 
I think you can do better than that. Come on, I saw Edge working there, dude. Edge, you should be bowing before me. Bow before your hero. <laughs> Thank you for the sound alert, Tama. Wait, so there's another infest investigation and another court session after this, I think. So. I think I'm going to save that for the next stream for tomorrow, hopefully. Let me save the game first. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to end the stream here. And then we can move on to another investigation and court session tomorrow. And officially end this game. <laughs> right, so before I end the stream, do you have like any suggestion about who to who to raid? <laughs> yeah, it's a cliffhanger. To be honest, it's because I don't wanna risk any I don't wanna risk the stream got caught off by the internet again. <laughs> I can see my bitrate is like fluctuating. <laughs> so I'm not taking any chances. Right, so do you guys maybe have any suggestion of who to raid? Let me see. online right now who sleepy aria is playing fast mode how about i rate her wait What's her pronouns again? So maybe it's not her, she, her. <laughs> Let me see. Do you have any suggestion maybe who I should raid? I'm thinking right now maybe we should raid Sleepy Aria. Yeah, um I think they're playing Phasmophobia right now. <laughs> Yeah, I guess we're going to raid her. Alright, so... That's it for tonight's stream. <laughs> Again, thank you so much for everybody who has joined tonight's stream. Tama, thank you. Also, thank you for the raid, Dukun Tobat. Thank you, Haraland. E779 and... Uh, Kai Tewewe for the follow. So thank you, Mango, for joining tonight's stream. Thank you, Miri, and also genderless cosplay. And Metro Smash. Also, must must okay. All five. Thank you. Thank you guys. Hopefully I will see you guys again tomorrow night. <laughs> oh, and also potato. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for joining tonight's stream as well. Yeah. I hope I'll see you guys again on the next stream. Hopefully tomorrow and we'll finish as Ace Attorney. <laughs> we'll finish we'll finish Phoenix Wright tomorrow. Alright? We are raiding Sleepy Aria now. She, they are currently playing Phasmophobia. Alright? See you guys again tomorrow. Um,
Take care and good night.